did it again, bro. Back here at Mazeppa. Wanted to go to a different park today, but there was some rain. It's closed. So we're back to the usual park. Trying out a new helmet setup or camera setup as well. Got a Bell Sanction 2 full face. So we're on a chin mount now instead of a chest mount. Look at shit. How you doing? too much speed. Alright. Same jump line. Just starting from a little bit further back. I really hope this camera angle is better than a freaking chest mount. Just now was not it. Pull the hell out of that. There we go. Let's try a little whip here. See if I can. Not really. It's not a big enough jump. Alright. Let's go to this other jump line. Alright, so before we set off, just kind of wanted to go over the bike really quickly. Probably got about 100 miles on it. Bike is phenomenal. Uh, it's arguably too much bike as far as travel goes uh, for what I ride. However, still love the bike, but I've had two, two problems with it. The first problem is, I don't know why, but the rear axle keeps coming loose, especially if I'm doing a bunch of jumps uh, and I case some, the axle tends to work its way loose. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know why. Like at Fisher Fest, if you go back and watch the race video, in my two practice sessions, I had to tighten it three different times. Uh, and I noticed the bike was kind of shifting weird and sure enough the axle was loose and the other issue i noticed the other day and i'll throw the clip up here all right so sat here riding noticed the bike was shifting kind of weird i wanted to put my foot on the pedal and i noticed that it kind of moved it's kind of hard to see oh come on right the whole crank is moving so i put my eight millimeter allen wrench in there look at this completely loose it had worked its way loose i don't know if it was ever torqued or what but look at that i mean it's not even not even snug so yeah so i'm not sure why this guy got loose either um i guess maybe that's on me because i didn't really check any of these bolts when i got the bike 
I have now checked them and make sure they're all torqued. So this one's like 54 newton meters or something. Yeah, 54, the rear axles, 15 to 20. So everything is torqued to spec, at least according to my little uh, quarter inch torque wrench. But yeah, those are the two issues I've had with the bike. So we're gonna hit this jump line, but something that I'm kind of sad about, um, it is currently November 12th. I received this bike on October 4th, October 5th, something like that. And as of a few days ago, you can no longer buy the regular Capras. You can only buy the uncaged. Um, so I'm assuming what's going on is that with their end of the year blowout sale, which is the reason that I bought this, is they are doing away with the MK3 Capra and going to be introducing an MK4. They just released the new uh, Jeffsy the other day. So I'm guessing that's what's going to happen here with the Capra. Uh, doesn't really change my opinion about it. I love this thing, but it's just going to be kind of unfortunate if they do do away with it. And I've got last year's model, but I've got all these. Ooh, that is really soft. Wow. I've got all these upgrades planned. Don't really plan on buying another bike for quite some time. Okay, let's hop back into it. And we'll try the... I guess we'll do the upper line again. So they've adjusted the lower line. We'll do that one in a minute. Because it used to be very poppy. Some of the jumps would send you super far. Some of them would send you way up in the air. Um, they fixed it the other day. Gotta be careful now and how soft that shit is. All right. Let's move on to upgrades, stuff that I wanna do to the bike. My biggest complaint with this is the hub. It's a great hub, Crank Brothers, you know, Crank Brothers wheel set, but there's just not enough points of engagement on this rear hub. Uh, it's really annoying to me. So, at the beginning of the year, probably gonna splurge out and buy a Industry 9 wheel set, Hydra hub, half a degree of engagement. I mean, this is, it's just too much, too far in between the points of engagement Like The wheel's spinning pretty fast and there's just not enough, there's just not enough PoE there. Other upgrades I want to do, really just cosmetic. So, carbon bars, uh, ridden with carbon bars once, really want a set. So, going to get a set of one ups. RockShox Reverb, literally no point to it. It's extremely expensive, but with the matchmaker clamps, I think this uh, looks really clean. So, it'll get rid of the cable. Also, want a set of Code RSC brakes. Absolutely nothing wrong with these Code Rs, they're great brakes, but I like that the RSCs have the adjustment here. Um, so those are also on the list. And then other than that, it's really just stupid bling bits like these. These are titanium bolts. They were all silver. I heat treated them, heat treated myself to turn them blue. I've done it on the front and the rear. I just think it's a cool little bling bit. Betterbolts.com has titanium for these. They have titanium for the reverb. They have a titanium one for your rear derailleur. They have titanium bolts for the matchmaker clamps. Just bling it out. Literally no point to it uh, other than looks. Yeah, I don't really know the point of this video. I came out here really just to test the new helmet and the chin mount. Um, so yeah. Now we're gonna hit the lower line. I wish I brought my tripod with me because there's a nice little double here at the end. Oh. Like that jump right there used to be crazy poppy. Most of these still are, but here we go. Oh shit, that was way too steep. All right, I gotta go back, redeem myself. That was stupid. The main thing with this lower line is you just gotta check your speed because a lot of these jumps will just send you too far. So 
You can just check up on your speed, you're fine. Like this jump right here. And this one, there we go. I did it again, bro. Oh, God. Ow. There you are. That hurt. That was a nice one. That's where the brake lever hit the tree. Bike seems fine, other than uh, my bars are super turned and see my brake lever is way up underneath. That's where it's supposed to be. That's where this one is. Super glad I was wearing my freaking full face because that would have sucked smashing my face off the ground. So. Alright, gotta redeem myself. Got everything fixed up. You can see where the lever spun on the bar. Brakes still seem to work fine, so we're all good. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Back's already kinda hurting. I'll put a picture up on my shoulder. Shoulder check that tree. But we cannot end the ride like that because that'll just mess with me. So I'm gonna go back and redeem myself. Otherwise, next time I come out here, I'm just gonna be a big wuss. So I'm gonna go hit it again. All right, we're just gonna do the upper line since I can't seem to figure out that freaking lower line. I actually feel like my bars are legitimately bit. I thought they were just twisted on the the tube of the fork, but they might be actually bent. There we go, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. By the way, I'm gonna go hit the other jump line just to make sure. Well, that's the biggest crash I've had. Good. Finger's gonna be swelled up. Railed that thing off the tree. But most of all, glad I got this freaking full face on. That was, I mean, that was a pretty hard lick. Don't have a headache or nothing, we're good. Good old Bell Sanction 2 DLX putting in work already. <sighs> Although my chin mount did come undone. I thought it broke. It's, uh, it's a little piece I designed and 3D printed. But it did not break. It just came undone from uh, double sided sticky tape. So we're all good. We're good. Didn't lose my mojo. Yeah, we're fine. Whew. All right, that'll be it for this video. Appreciate you guys checking in. I'm gonna go grab me some lunch, ice my shoulder, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.